Eyewitness Weather Forecast. Well, good morning. After a snowy start to our day and some tricky travel, at least things are starting to quiet down for the most part, but we are not completely out of the woods just yet. But leaving behind out the roads are improving. It's actually a pretty nice picture. So here on the Eyewitness News rooftop, yeah, things are snow covered at this point, but the road conditions have really improved and we're seeing some sunshine, which is certainly helping some things out. But just like I said, not completely done yet. Many of us are seeing next to nothing at this point, but still Union Snyder County, one little snow squall just continuing to move through. There's still some more actually further up to our north and west that we'll be slowly watching as we go through the rest of our day. It's these that are coming off of Lake Erie, just starting to drop into the northern tier. So as we go through the rest of this afternoon, though, they're going to be a little bit more isolated than what we saw this morning. We still need to keep an eye out for these snow squalls the rest of the day. It's this cold front moving through as that colder air moves back in behind that. That's what's creating those lake effect snow showers and squalls. Eventually, this area of high pressure that's just settling into the Great Lakes will move into our area for tonight and tomorrow and give us really just a beautiful stretch of weather for at least just one day because then we have some rain. That'll be knocking on the door. The road temperatures are improving, but still sitting just below that freezing mark in some spots. So just keep in mind any roads that are still untreated. The sunshine is certainly helping some things out, but it doesn't help out all that much with the icy spots. So just be aware of that until we start to see a little bit more improvement over the rest of today. The wind is starting to pick up. That's something we'll continue to see right through this afternoon. Sustained at a good 10 to 25 miles per hour. It actually will occasionally gust near and even over 30 miles per hour at times. But quickly tonight, as that area of high pressure starts to move back in, it relaxes that wind, things quiet down, but that temperature overnight drops quite a bit. We'll be waking up in the teens by tomorrow morning. So there's those leftover snow showers and squalls just up to our north. As we go through the rest of today, notice that future cast does actually drop those south up into the northern tier, Wyoming Valley and the Poconos, even out in central Pennsylvania, by the time we get to this evening, most of that has really tapered off, but we'll still want to keep an eye out until tonight when this area of high pressure settles in just a little bit more. Clears out that sky, lets that temperature drop a little bit more. We're still north of that warm front for the day tomorrow, so we still have the colder air with us once that front ends up going through. There's not a lot of moisture, so it doesn't do all that much, but warmer air starts to come back in Thursday and really going into Friday afternoon. That's when we'll see that warmer air move back in, but it also does come with some showers that'll move in. A stationary front forms just off to our north and west. We call it stationary because it doesn't move all that much. So all day Saturday, showers will be banging on the door, not necessarily going to get in all day, but we'll want to keep the umbrella handy. Then as that front eventually goes through, we try to change over to some snow showers late Saturday night and Sunday morning. 32 for the high today in your eyewitness weather forecast. Not totally done. Snow showers, a brief squall still in the cards. Windy and colder today. It's cold tonight. 14 for the overnight low. 30 tomorrow. Good sunshine. Friday and Saturday, that rain comes in. That does try to end as a little snow Saturday night. Then things quiet down Sunday and Monday before another little round of rain on Tuesday. And let's not forget about the Eyewitness Weather app. We can always download that on our phones and tablets. Forecast always available at PA homepage. Com. So we hit the 50s, Chris, but it comes with a little rain. Even today, pretty busy morning, but not out of the woods just not yet. Not completely done yet. All right, thanks, Steph Adele. Well, gas.